Hello YouTube family. This is another beautiful summer day and actually we're having some super super hot weather. So if we need to do stuff outside in the garden we try to do it in the morning where it, when it's still cool. So this morning uh, we, I have the children out here and they are picking some strawberries. Um, I've been a little sad because our big strawberry patch hasn't been giving that, that many strawberries but at least we're getting enough to eat. So what I wanted to show you on this video is how to make some good uh, strawberry shortcake. So we're picking the strawberries right now and then later I will make the strawberry shortcake. And usually I just make one big pan of strawberry shortcake and we put on whipped cream and strawberries. But this time I I'm going to make them like little individual things for you guys. So uh, that'll be fun and the children will love to have their own little strawberry shortcake. And after that... Uh, this afternoon we're probably gonna go to a lake because it gets so hot and we're gonna go to a very beautiful lake hopefully it's not too full but too full of people but we're gonna go try it out and go swimming the reason for these white things that you see they're like a, a ground cover a mesh covering that we put over the strawberries for a while because it seemed like the cedar waxwings and the robins were getting to the strawberries and eating them so that kind of protects them. The garden is really growing in this hot weather. All we need to do is make sure it stays watered re really well and the reason why Justin is kneeling here on the dirt is because he's weeding. <laughs> Him and Ethan are weeding while the little ones are picking strawberries and I would be helping but I have to run because I have to go to a quick meeting this morning and then I will be back and I will show you how to make that strawberry shortcake. It's so simple to make a strawberry shortcake. Probably most people have made them already. It's between like a biscuit and a cake actually. But isn't it just beautiful out here? I just love it. We have so many volunteer um, sunflowers that are coming up that'll have some sunflowers soon and let's see if we can find Ethan over here yep there he is hoeing away getting some weeds out before it gets too hot actually in this garden we don't have very many weeds because we use chips for a top covering on the dirt, but we still have a few. Okay, I'm back from my meeting and I am ready to get started on these shortcakes for you and they should be very simple. I actually have it all measured out here and I'll give you a close up so you can see all the ingredients that I have. And it's super simple, it's kind of like biscuits. Um, but I think they'll look pretty after, after I'm done with them. And yeah, so I will show you and this will go pretty fast I think and it's such a simple dessert and re a refreshing dessert for summertime. So and this recipe I actually found online so I'll just link it down below for you because um, the one the recipe I usually use goes in a pan and you put crumb topping on top and that is really good it's one of our favorites but I wanted to do something different you know just uh, do something pretty. So that's what I'll do right now. So you are going to have to go down. So these are the ingredients that you will need. A little bit of salt, some baking powder and a little bit of soda, an egg, and butter, cold 
cold butter, as cold as you can get, and some sugar, and vanilla, and flour. It calls for all-purpose flour, but um, what I'm using is a whole wheat pastry flour and also some salt flour. And then here we have some cream, and in here is they call for buttermilk, but I don't have buttermilk, so I just use regular milk and put some a little bit of vinegar in it. I probably put almost a tablespoon of vinegar in it. That kind of gives it the buttermilk taste. So I'll get busy, and you can just watch as I make it, and then for the recipe, you can just click on the link below in the description box, and uh, you can find it. It's very simple. So as you can see here, I definitely had to change to a bigger bowl because my flour was uh, spraying out. And when you mix the butter in, you just want to mix it in very coarsely in with the flour. You actually want small chunks everywhere in your flour. Uh, you just kind of want to evenly distribute it everywhere. And then when you mix in the wet ingredients, you also just want to mix it very lightly just so it's so that it's mixed. You actually want to see little chunks of butter because that kind of, when it bakes, it bakes more flaky. As you can see here, I am just patting it out with my hands about one inch thick and then I got a wide mouth uh, ring, jar ring, that I used to cut it out. Actually now if I do it again, I would use a small mouth because it really made them big. They were too big for just one person to eat. And I would dunk my uh, ring in flour. Uh, just so it wouldn't stick to the dough. So in the end here, you just want to carefully push the dough back together and make it as pretty as you can. But you don't want to handle the dough too much. Actually, I kind of have to put it together here so that it sticks. There we go. Now let's see if we can get a couple more out of this. There's one. These are actually pretty fat. Let's see if we can do one more here. Actually, I'm just trying to kind of fix the last one, kind of how I think it should be. And call that good. Here we go. Okay, these things turned out pretty big actually. I could have made smaller ones. I could have made them quite a bit smaller. I could have used a small mouth ring instead of a wide mouth. Uh, but hey, that's okay. This time we'll have some really big uh, strawberry shortcakes. Hey, one vital thing I forgot was um, 
I want to brush some cream on top. And by the way, if you hear noise, it's my children playing upstairs. They can be pretty loud sometimes. So just quickly drizzle this cream on top and then I'll sprinkle on some sugar. And by the way, I'm using that Sucanet sugar. It's an unrefined brown sugar. It's a little healthier. It has all the uh, minerals in it still, I guess. So that's why I use it. Okay, next what I'm going to do is blend up some cream, heavy whipping cream, and I'm sure most of you know how to, how to um, whip cream. I do it in my blender because I don't really have a, a mixer or a hand mixer, and these blenders are amazing by the way, Blendtec, uh, the owners of Blendtec gifted it to us, so we have been so blessed, and yeah, they whip up cream very quickly, and cream is very easy to whip up. I often add some sugar or some stevia and vanilla. Sometimes if I have maple flavoring, I add maple flavoring depending on what dessert I'm making. These are huge. Look at these. They're too big. Uh, if I would do it next time, I would use a smaller ring. Uh, and they didn't rise quite as much as I thought they would, but I'm guessing it's the flour that I used. I used different flour, but it'll be just fine. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to quickly cool them off in the freezer because uh, we're getting antsy to go to the lake. Okay, these are sufficiently cooled off, I believe, and I cut them in half to cool them quicker. You wanna cut them in half anyways. So here is how this looks. They're a little bit flatter than I would have wanted them to be, and I, I might have pressed them out a little too um, flat too. I should have um, let them be a little bit thicker, but um, they really, really taste good. They, t they have this like uh, shortbread taste. Barely sweet, but just a little bit sweet. So now we're going to make them pretty for you guys and show you the finished product.
Okay, here we are. <laughs> well, let's see what my wife has fixed for us today. <laughs> what do you call these, babe? A strawberry shortcake. Oh, well, yep. that's what it looks like, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's do the taste test to see if it passes. How do I split this last one? All the children are already uh, dressed for the water, <laughs> so that's why there's no clothes. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you at the lake just very soon. Taste test. Is on. Just take a bite, babe, and okay. tell us what you think. Well, I already know it's fantastically <laughs> delicious, but I'll test it anyways for grins. I need goat's milk, but I'll try to do without it. Mmm. Finger licking. <laughs> delicious. Our e kids don't want any, right? I think I'll just have all of it. Well guys, we made it to the lake and I'm sitting out in the sunshine, but I went in the water to get wet so that I'm um, not as hot. It's like 100 degrees or a little over 100 degrees today, but it feels so refreshing right now. Yeah, it's just glorious. This, this lake here is uh, called Horseshoe Lake. I guess it's kind of shaped like a horseshoe, um, <clears throat> but it's one of the clearest and bluest lakes in Montana. It's just beautiful. I love it. But usually there's uh, the campsites are often taken up so on weekends because everybody knows this is a wonderful lake. <laughs> Joe is sputtering out the water. He must have got some in his nose. Because my mustache doesn't seal up, but so it comes around my mask. <laughs> <laughs> what are we eating, Chloe? Um, Did you forget what it's called? A plum. A plum. <laughs> is it good, Wyatt? Mm -hmm. All taking a break from swimming and doing some eating. That was fun out there, actually. Yeah, it was... I had quite that much fun swimming around on logs, looking for lures. It was nice seeing him have fun in the water, chilling a little bit. There's Abby girl out there. The wind died down, that's nice. Yep. I've mostly been just sitting and reading a book. And that's kind of rare for me, so that was fun. Okay, this is a new, new trick that the boys have decided to use. They're gonna use a hose and try to breathe through the hose and swim down. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, whatever. He's gonna pick up a rock and walk down. <laughs> Why do you need the rock? He's just gonna keep walking. This is very unique, I gotta say. Come on, you need to hold on to the... <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, coming up for air. Not happening? Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> I can't hardly, it's too hard to suck out. 
You know, you're not getting any fresh air. All you do is breathing carbon monoxide. <laughs> you're just pushing it right in the hose and sucking it back out again. <laughs> trying to do some videoing, I guess, underwater. There are little ways out there. We're even doing just a little bit of fishing. I don't know if we can catch anything, but we did spot a, some big bass in here when we were diving down. What, Chloe? Ned and Tristan got nibbles when we You saw one too? Great. Okay, White, well, you're all the way up against it there, buddy. Gotta cast it out again. Okay, I got Chloe. Oh, we got another snag. Oh, dear. <laughs> you can't reach it, Chloe. It's too deep. <laughs> no, you can't. It's over your head. Okay, we haven't had any any luck here, but they wanted to wet some uh, lines, so that's what we're doing. Just had to show you these when we were fishing or swimming out there, and we were diving down and we're looking for lures, and we found three of them. Actually, we found another one, but that one was junk. I really don't know what this one is. Looks like maybe a giant squid of some sort. That hook is broken. Oh well, no, it's actually still there. It's just really super old. It must be um, fishing for tiger musky. Then you got a little bit of a jig there and a panther martin. It's pretty cool. And it's got a steel leader on it too. bell 
get out to you. I think even if you are subscribed and, and you don't hit the notification bell, you won't always see our videos. So right. it helps us if you hit that notification bell. And it helps you though, because if you hit that notification bell every time we post a new video. You'll get you'll, to see uh, it. Yep, you'll know that there's a new video out. Okay, God bless. Thanks for watching.